Alright, this is going to be a quick video showing you the contents of my emergency kit that I keep in my car. Um, it's pretty simple. I'll just show you a few things I have in it. Um, it's just a normal, uh, simple bag I got at an Army Navy store for like $29. It's pretty tough though. It's made of some good material. It comes with a good uh, shoulder strap on it. I put a little 550 paracord bracelet on there and I got my little steel uh, uh, cup for boiling water or food or whatever I need. I'll show you the inside. Inside I keep a little emergency weapon. Just a little 38 special. Um, keep some spare ammo for it. Um, I have a little sewing kit here to keep in my bag. And uh, let's see what else I got. A packet of tea. You can actually uh, drink it cold or hot. Just mix it into your water cup or whatever. Um, this is freeze-dried food from Mountain House. This is uh, beef stroganoff with noodles. It's got like uh, 250 calories per serving, and there's two two servings. So this is actually the uh, Pro Pack. It's um, vacuum sealed, so that's pretty cool. Safe space. Uh, let's see. We got a couple of Inferno uh, heaters. They last for a good while with a lighter in there. So you can cook your food without having to make a fire or anything. Um, my little military grade mess kit. It's really thick, kind of heavy, but it works. And uh, see what else I got. I got some uh, toilet paper. On the go toilet paper. Let's see. Uh, what about a commando wire saw? Picked that up for about ten dollars. I think I overpaid for it, but that's pretty cool looking. I cut it down to size. I left it in the packet to keep it dry. Not that it really matters, but it keeps everything together. Um, let's see. This little first aid kit I picked up for like five dollars. Uh, it's just got some basic stuff, you know, ibuprofen, antibiotic ointment, and bandages and stuff like that. Stuff you put on your feet to prevent blisters. Um, magnesium fire starter. Good to have. All right here, I got an emergency blanket. You can actually use that as a blanket or a shelter. You know, whichever you prefer, really. Uh, let's see, let's see. Some fire cues. I probably got too many in there, but when it comes to fire, I don't think you never have too much of a sources for that. Um, this was like twelve dollars. It's kind of expensive. Thirteen minute burn time per cube, and there's twelve cubes, so it's not too bad. It says it'll boil water in about four minutes. Uh, this is something I picked up. It's a little fold up pocket stove. This was like seven dollars at the Army Navy store. I can get it out. There we go. Basically you just unfold it, stick it in the ground. Sorry, there you go. Stick it down in the ground, you put your little ferno can under it if you want. Or you can just set it on top of a fire. And then like put your mess kit on top of it. They like uh, hit the plate. Put your mess kit on top of it like that. Pretty handy. I mean, you probably don't have to have it, but I thought it was cool. Uh, what else we got? What else? What else? Um, this is something I always just carry on me. I mean, it's just got a compass on it. It's got a, a signal mirror on the inside. If I can get it open, hold on. One hand. I got the camera other hand. I got this. Um, I got a 500 milligram tablet of Tylenol. Some waterproof matches. Um, on the very bottom, I have a little bag and it has 20 feet of fishing line and two hooks. Um, that's 550 paracord there. And on the inside of the cap is a signal mirror. It's kind of small. I don't know if you can really use it or not, but can't hurt none. And this is a little this white bag of stuff that I put together. Sorry. Um, it's got. I can get it open with one hand. Come on. Right. There we go. Has a compass, the whistle, thermometer, and then it's got like a little fold-out uh, magnifying glass there for starting a fire. And the compass is pretty accurate, more accurate than 
the one over here. Um, so that was $5. It wasn't bad. Some uh, extra string or rope, whatever you want to call that. I got some cotton balls for uh, starting a fire. Waterproof matches. Like I said, I probably went overboard on the uh, the whole fire starting equipment, but you know you can never have too much. I think another little fishing uh, fishing set there. That's 20 feet of line. I got two hooks wrapped in electrical tape so it doesn't puncture the bag. Speaking of electrical tape, I got a bunch of that. Uh, I got a hand warmer. Actually, two of them there. Pocket warmer. And this is a uh, solar-powered flashlight. Um, so it doesn't really run out of batteries, but you know I don't know how long it'll last at night. But it's actually like a dollar, but it works good. I mean, it's bright. Just keep it on the outside of your pack or something during the day, and should be good to go for that night. Got a little multi-tool. It's like really crappy, but it's small and it fits in the bag, so. More string. This is the string that actually came on the uh, little red whistle thing there, and I just took it off and wrapped 550 paracord around it. Um, got a pollution trail pocket knife here. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna cut my finger off trying to get this thing. There we go. And then uh, what else we got? A little twist tie. Hey. Just figured I'd throw that in there. I don't know if it'll really help or not. Um, and you got the Ziploc bag and all. Uh, that's about it. Oh wait, no it's not. Took some trauma shears I got from from work. I usually carry these at work, but uh, eh, took them home with me. And some more 550 paracord. It's a good bit there. And this is the bag. I'll show you now that it's empty. It's got a hard back on it. It's got a, I got that bracelet I put on there, my little cam. It's got this compartment here, here, and then right here. I don't know if you can see that because of the light, but it's not bad for what it is. Um, what else? What else? I believe that's it. Um, of course, I just carry my 38 Special. It is loaded. This is a gun I picked up for about $60. It's actually a pretty cheap gun, but it's very accurate despite being cheap. I've got it loaded with five rounds. Um, got a little speed loader for it as well. Got it loaded with some wall cutters. It's random ammo I had. I don't really have very many 38 special rounds. What I do have is plus P and that's for my 357, but the thing's too big to fit in my bag. So, um, What else? What else? What else? Oh, my cell phone. I don't know what that's doing there. I believe that's it. Um, I could try to get this thing untied. There you go. This is the sewing kit. I picked this up for two dollars at Army Navy store, and uh, surprisingly, it's good quality for what I paid. I mean, it wraps up real nice, and it. Uh, you can see it comes with some. Sorry, comes with some needles there, some different colored thread. I think you got green. Green, beige, and black. You got these little fold out scissors, some buttons, and uh, safety pins, and stuff like that. And that was only $2, so it's not bad. But yeah, I mean, that's a good bit of stuff in my bag. Not not heavy at all. Uh, this isn't mine, this is my wife's. I don't know what that's doing there. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I could probably put some more food in there. Uh, maybe just put a bottle of water or something. But, um, that's really all I need just for a uh, get home bag or just an emergency bag in my car. I have a bigger survival bag in my closet that I keep here at home. It's gotten, you know, three days worth of supplies. Or more. You can stretch it, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just going to show you my video. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm probably missing a lot of stuff, so don't be too harsh. And, uh, sorry about the video quality. I'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and everything. And show you everything at the other. I don't make very many videos, so tell me what you think. Appreciate it. Thanks.